Hi, I'm Johan Sundberg, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to address you in a um, course about the human voice. And uh, it will be uh, an explanation of how the vocal uh, sounds are being produced and how they are shaped um, by us when we use our voices. The start of it is a pulsating airstream. You could get one of these pulsating airstream by um, blowing air between your vocal, uh, your, your fingers actually. Okay, or you could also get it more conveniently and less more controlled by using a duck call. Um, it has a membrane and it vibrates when you uh, blow wind through it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could put it in this little envelope and then, mm -hmm. okay, sounds like that. Now, this sounds uh, about the same. It sounds similar to what you get from the vibrating vocal folds when they open and close the airway from the lungs to the vocal tract. Uh, now, uh, we could do things with the sound on its way from the uh, vocal folds to the lip opening. Already when, when the sound passes the uh, um, resonator, like the vocal tract, kind of like that, this is a cylindrical tube, but um, you could listen to how it's tr tr um, transformed or shaped or filtered when it comes through, the, from, from a, uh, through a tube. Uh, uh, that is exactly what everybody could say who has a vocal tract and we all have it okay uh, now if when we produce uh, vowels we squeeze the vocal tract uh, down here or in the middle or at the front or e and we could shape the vocal tract in different ways by bulging the tongue to um, constrict the pharynx. And uh, let us see what this tube does with the voice timbre, with the timbre of the sound, when we squeeze it by means of a um, little um, lump of uh, plasticine. And I put it down in the uh, region of the pulsating airstream, the, the vocal folds, uh. which is quite different from and then if I squeeze it in the front end, and uh, uh. quite different. So you get quite different vowel qualities when you slide the uh, constriction from uh, the pharynx. So, okay. So that is one part of controlling and changing the voice sound. The other one is by how how you um, uh, use your vocal folds and you could press them hard together and try to get through as when you carry a piano um, uh, or uh, when you scream ah! uh, but you could also be very gentle with the uh, constriction of the glottis, the slit between the vocal folds, bring the vocal folds softly together, uh, like when you speak, or um, not bring them strongly together at all, as when you speak with a breathy voice. Mm -hmm. So that is a lot of variation. And you could also go between, just in the ra ra range between the breathy phonation and the speech phonation. Um, and then you could get the, um, the flow phonation that sounds like this. Uh, rather than, uh, rather than, uh, rather than. Uh. Okay. One control factor that is very important to shaping the vocal sound, and that is the, lung, the air pressure that we create by squeezing the lungs. And you can squeeze the lungs by contracting your rib cage. And then you could also uh, contract it by squeezing your um, abdominal wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has some consequences for how the vocal folds tend to uh, react to an airstream. So I will talk about this 
uh, and other things that may be uh, of interest to you. I will try to get it interesting for you um, in the uh, when we meet in the course. So I hope to be in contact with you then.